Well, once again, we find ourselves right here in the lobby of New Vision Eye Center, and I am so delighted to be with Dr. David O'Brien to talk about another specialty that you have, because everyone knows of you, Dr. O'Brien. First of all, hi. Hi. <laughs> Secondly, sure. though, everyone knows that you have done so many things with laser vision. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to talk to you about this eyelid surgery that you're a specialist with. Well, I, you know, I love doing them, Marsha. I always enjoyed doing them when I was a resident. I got a lot of training, and my program where I trained in New York was particularly interested in oculoplastics. A lot of the, um, the techniques were developed there early on by some real pioneers um, in, in oculoplastic surgery, a fellow named Byron Smith. Uh -huh. And so really a wonderful guy, and I got to meet him, and my father did some training with him. So it's kind of neat how I got, uh, I was exposed to that. What a wonderful backstory. That must mean, and it must be exciting for you, and you know what I want to find out? Are we talking cosmetic surgery, or are we talking making the vision better? Both. Uh -huh. You obviously want a cosmetic aesthetic result. So, but most of the patients that I operate on, they come in saying, I, I, my vision is impaired by my upper eyelids. Uh -huh. And a lot of them have their brows have kind of started to lose the battle with gravity like we all do. Mm -hmm. And so the brow is low, and that way the eyelid skin is low, oh. and so we end up raising the brow very frequently at the same time through the same incision and taking that excess skin so people can see peripherally better, they can see the golf ball in flight better, they can see stoplight better, anything that's above your line of mm -hmm. sight. Um, and we have a lot of patients who come in saying, I'm having to lift my brows in order to see. I had it happen today. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know, this is amazing though, because when you think about eyelid surgery and you think about it as being a cosmetic surgical procedure, but then the eyesight has to improve, as you say, if it is drooping at that point. So is it the same type of incision right. that you would do for cosmetic surgery? For, it you know, a lot of the patients that are having cosmetic procedures are younger. Mm -hmm. They're not yet bad enough where they have so much excess skin that it's affecting their vision, but many are. Mm -hmm. but you know, there are the majority of patients that we see in my practice are folks that come in that have said, boy, I've noticed my vision is impacted by this and I don't like how it looks. Uh -huh. So a cosmetic incision is the same as the functional type surgery that we do most of the time. And obviously you want the same result. Everybody wants to look younger. Oh, and absolutely. So we, we want that same cosmetic result. Is there an age limit though for? No. No, I don't think so. I think it's basically, you know, I've operated on some pretty elderly patients mm -hmm. who, who had such excess skin that they, it really was affecting their vision. And they feel like somebody turned the lights on afterwards. And it, it kind of depends on their health. You know, if somebody's yeah. a very active, you know, we have, we have people who are 85 years old weekly who play golf four times oh, sure. a week, yeah. play tennis. You know, they yeah. drive, they go to shows at night, and, you know, they want to be able to see well at night and, and look good. Do you and know, so, I love having you talk about this because it seems to me that we so rarely think of eyelid surgery to improve your eyesight. Absolutely. And yet that yeah. does happen as a progression of age. No question. Very common. Everybody, you know, develops sure. cataract. Everybody has excess skin on their lids as they age, and so, you know, we... we we have a lot of patients who come in and say, I'd never be able to afford this unless it were paid for by my insurance sure. or Medicare and so mm -hmm. on. And the majority of those folks, if it's bad enough, it will be paid by a third party, not them. And that's a determination by you as a physician, an eye doctor as a physician. But it does seem to me that that is something that we have not been aware of, is that eyelid surgery can improve your eyesight. Yeah. No question. Because in literally, when you see people walking around with those droopy eyes, you know, and yet they have, is there any particular um, disease, though, that would eliminate the opportunity to have that? Well, if somebody's in a very difficult medical situation where their health doesn't allow them to safely have a surgery, then obviously we, you know, we don't do an elective surgery mm -hmm. like that. But, you know, somebody who has lower eyelids that maybe flip inward and their eyelashes are rubbing them all the time, you know, those are people that need a procedure to be comfortable. And sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll make sure, we'll optimize them medically sure. with their medical doc and cardiologist and so on so that they can have a procedure that will allow them to maintain vision and comfort. 
You know, I love this because I always think of you as LASIK surgery and laser vision. And yet when you combine it all together and you put it all together, it must make you, you always say it's so wonderful to see someone who's just had the procedure and yeah. they all of a sudden see this beautiful, clean world of ours. It must really delight you to see people who not only look better, but they can see better. It's fun. You know, I enjoy it. And, and you really do help people. This is a great specialty because you really do get, we get to know people over a long period of time. Oh, yes. And, and we get to help them live better and, and look better. I love better. it. I love it. Dr. David O'Brien, New Vision Eye Center, making people look better and see better.